Hi, my name is Dr. Willem Wassenaar. I'm a medical graduate from the University of Western Ontario. Osteoarthritis is one of the most common arthritis, and it is some kind, sometimes called wear and tear arthritis and is associated with uh, aging. During the process of osteoarthritis, there's a loss of cartilage. So think of cartilage as being the pad between two bones on either side of your knee. So as you walk, the pads or cartilage absorbs the energy. As you lose some of the cartilage, the pad gets thinner and you have less absorbance uh, of the energy and it becomes less comfortable. Finally, you lose all of your cartilage and now it's bone on bone and this becomes very painful. One, it's absolutely important to have good nutrition. And two, exercise. Now, exercise works in two ways. Exercising your muscle means that you keep your muscle healthy and that helps keep the joint aligned so we don't injure the cartilage. Secondly, imagine cartilage as two pads between your long bones. So as you step on your foot, you squeeze the cartilage and you squeeze out the toxins that are produced by the chondrocyte that is, the chondrocyte is the cell that maintains healthy cartilage. And then as you walk through your swing, then again, the, the cartilage expands and draws on new nutritious fluid. And this constant compression and relaxation is how the chondrocyte receives nutrition because cartilage doesn't have any blood supply. So all of it has to come in by compression and relaxation. The usual treatments involve an analgesic, analgesics such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen. And then there are the glucosamines. Glucosamines are quite popular and there are at least three glucosamines on the market. There's glucosamine hydrochloride, glucosamine sulfate, and N-acetylglucosamine. The reason is that N-acetylglucosamine is an essential element of the functioning of the human body. It is also found in human breast milk. It differs from glucose in that it's a larger molecule and does not interfere with cellular uptake of sugars and hence is considered to be diabetic friendly. N-acetylglucosamine, because it's naturally occurring in the human body, and it is not known to have interactions with other medications or with other substances that you may be taken. Solution is is very stable and is also neutral so that it doesn't upset the stomach. We believe N-acetylglucosamine is the right choice.